Hello and welcome back to another episode of FixCom 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with a Long War Legendary Iron Man playthrough Into the Void. Time for Operation Starhawk where we're trying to reduce the enemy strength and get some enemy material on top of it. Grey Knights Part 2. Paul Jarenks and Implacable have uh, teamed up with a couple of others including a few Psy operators and are now on their way into the mission just double checking yep we have psi operatives training i just figured i want to make sure that we're using the time to uh, train new psi abilities all right let's go good a little bit here a little bit there and the gray knights are back in action By the way, mech's super cool. I really like them. Neutralize all enemy targets. So we start in high ground in a corner. <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. Happy to do that. Implacable. Moving out. Moves over. Opens the door. Right over here is where I would want to go. Moving out. Kind of onto that balcony. Oh, hello. All the aliens running around out there these days. She just had to modify a berserker, didn't she? Her curiosity was not unfounded. Although I agree it was perhaps not the most prudent of choices. <laughs> not the most prudent of choices. It is a stupid choice. Okay, stasis will take her out, which is helpful. We also do have Void Rift. Good. Um, Dranks positions himself there. And for now, we're positioning ourselves here, but we're soon going to uh, stay uh, stand right in the middle. That new pack on the other hand not so cool but whatever we'll get the berserker queen everything else secondary start this fortifying ourselves That was a good hit. Did the Berserker Queen uh, trigger? No, she did not. That's an important bit of info.
Everybody here is part of the Null War. That'll be a little bit of explosion over here. Shouldn't bring your grenades to a party here. Keep uh, the soul lands for a little bit later. Nope, we're not going to do anything here. I don't want to move in and then trigger the Berserker Queen. That's a stupid idea. Could have stunned him. Good, we're almost done with killing the entire pack. Good. Let's get him down. I'm ready. Overwatch. Free reload. Um, Should I double check that for you? Let's see if this triggers the Berserker Queen. Yes, it does. We're starting with Avoid Rift. 
wouldn't trigger anything for them because they can't see the targets. But the rupture is good. Starting with marking it and shredding it nicely. We got one stasis, do we have a second one? No. Free reload should not trigger. So we're killing the mutant. See that one? Overwatch. 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 Okay, stasis ends. She is close, but we can move over. She's very much hit by that and should slow down. Just in case we're mind merging, that will not trigger because we're out of line of sight. Overwatch here. Free fortify. Queen takes damage. get her completely although I 
don't know if she's immune to stun. But I think this here would deal the most damage. Too bad. Want to get her and kill her. Item in tow. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Flip side, she has no more armor. We got her very nicely down to a reasonable amount of hit points. No indication where the enemies are coming from. So, might as well start moving in. Apparently, right in front of us, there are more. We should be able to keep the corpses, shouldn't we? Which would be great, because I saw an Archon, and that would uh, net us the highest melee weapon tier. So if possible, like if it's uh, mm, if we can do it, that would be absolutely good to get the Archon. teleport I like it a lot should consider taking it on the others as well just because the repositioning is too gr good to ignore that First of all, we do have automatic shotgun. Secondly, I hate priests. I need to die. Assaults in the end game 
Holy moly, shotguns. Just stands there, hit and run. And gets the guys down. <laughs> That's not bad. Specifically 24 crit damage and that was just a coil gun. It's not even the absolute maximum. It gets worse than that. So Diva didn't get a promotion. And or is neither. Good, we got an Archon Corpse on the other hand. That is great because we can now uh, upgrade our melee weapons. And yeah, you can see none of the Psionics do have the option to already learn something. Hmm. Not good. Supply, dro uh, supply drop is happening in a second. We got a specialist and I think if I'm not mistaken we wanted Dark Tower to become a technical All right, lots of newcomers. They always say at the end or in the end game of a long war it doesn't really make sense to train rookies. I tend to slightly disagree with that. It takes a while. It depends on what you want to do. Um, but it can definitely work out. And the reason why I'm saying that is, uh, just give me a second, what do we want to give you? I think defense isn't bad. Conditioning also would not be too bad. He's not one of the top dogs, so might as well just give him a little bit more hit points at the beginning. So here's the thing why I uh, slightly disagree. Yes, you need a lot of missions to get them up to the absolute maximum level, but in my experience in the end game, if you are a sergeant, or staff sergeant that's already a, re a relatively good and decent build that you can uh, get going if the rest of the equipment is fine then you can take on end game challenges with that and it takes you exactly two missions to get to sergeant right uh, thanks to the uh, training regime and from there on um, it's just a little bit more and then you um, you get to staff sergeant so it's it's really not that bad in my perspective okay east africa and we got a new rookie available for recruitment let's start with the rookie 31 you look like a psi operative to me <coughs> Excuse me. Good. And then, secondly, we wanted to do resistance management. For starters, we do have two um, mechs in New Indonesia. So if we ever get invaded here, that would be fun. Then, for continuation... Um, this guy cannot work because you can't have more than 13 working. More recruitment and no one else is hiding. And we got Haven advisors everywhere. Where well, we do want intel, we have a lot of intel and you can see this year is ready for liberation. This year is at stage 3. And this year starts liberating as well. So the regions where we do have a haven advisor that is helping us with intel we're on the way 
to liberation. So that's all good. It's going according to plan. The one thing, wait, wait, wait. one thing that did I see that correctly? We have three liberated regions. Oh yeah, New India. We needed to repopulate because, yeah. Let's not talk about that. We got ambushed by the Chosen one too many times there. Just blew my nose during uh, the recording and our monthly report came in. Okay, so we need to find her lair. We got one knowledge, so that's fine. And we need to get to knowledge three for him, which we're currently doing. So we're in time. The Chosen are making steady progress towards tracking our position, Commander. We're getting short on time. Snake Plisket. Um, let's do that. Very good. Continues uh, to train. So as I was saying, we are going to make contact up here. And in the meantime, Our team is actually quite let's continue the research. Got one spider suit, which is fantastic. And we're going to get an Archon autopsy because I want uh, the melee upgrades. That'll make so many things much, much better. Uh, once we got the supplies, we'll visit the black market. West Asia. Uh, oh yeah, right here. Good, more recruitment going on. That's fine. How are things here in East Asia? We're looking at what? Um, Vigilance 18, Strengths 4. We can, yeah, we can still deal with it. For whatever reason, this region here has Vigilance 9. Yeah, and vigilance strengths eight and seven. So all of uh, the uh, all of uh, the new India uh, strengths was pushed into these regions, right? And now they are slowly trying to move it over to here. Okay, we got Iron Hands, which we can do in a second. We got Esperance uh, there. Yeah, we'll do both of them in a, in a moment. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. Do we need to launch that now? Well, I think we do, right? And that was a difficult one because we took squaddies against 12 enemies. Um, yeah, all right. Let's have a bit of a more difficult mission. All right, we landed 22 turns and we need to get quite far. It's a large map. So let me suggest to get going. This is not our best team. Let's put it this way. So we're going to 
have a severe lack of damage. But I hope with a couple of uh, good maneuvers and just overall staying under the radar, we might be able to get that mission down. Not sure what I what I thought when I was creating this pack, but we only have two damage dealer, which is Ripper here and Husker, and unless both of them are having a lot of uptime on the enemies. I'm not necessarily seeing how we're going to win. Out. We have a couple of grenades from the Grenadiers, but yeah, conventional grenades that laid in the in the campaign aren't really all that hot. It's okay for a bit of cover removal here and there and it's also fine yeah. for a bit of shredding Roger. Got my eyes on. but no not good for other stuff heavier mechs running around okay So funnily enough, if we had the chance to get one of those mechs, that might look a bit different. Well, I suppose Jimmy here with his huge plasma gun, uh, which, with his huge uh, laser rifle, uh, could be an asset for us as well. Potentially start to trigger. Alternatively, we could try to get in. You know what? Time to motor. We might be sneaking in. Scanning. Because th these guys are moving over. There's only so much I can do about it. like a strong mutant. Let's do this. Interesting. Confirmed. 
Moves to over here. Ten four. Moves to over there. Got it covered. And to here. We're going to help uh, with getting these guys out, uh, this guy out, if needed. Next turn we can open. Moving to designated position. I'm just moving to a position where I could command over and also where I can Oscar Mike. This here would affect everybody with Oscar Mike. Good. Moving to position. Yeah, covered. Affirmative. Covering now. Nah, stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Very close. Both of them are burning. Fantastic. How exactly did these guys get triggered? No one of us was there, not even remotely close. We not hit her with Oscar Mike. Well, apparently not. Great. So there, she begins to move to here. Um. Sure thing. Take this. 
Hopefully the stun lancer falls through the roof. <clears throat> Mech will die. Stun lancer unfortunately falls not through the roof. But there is a chance that this grenade indirectly will kill him. And now he fell through the roof. You just needed Zapper in order to pull it off. Single Mac is the only thing that le uh, is left uncontrolled. These guys unfortunately will soon stop burning. I only lost one turn. Okay. is down oh we do have this this problem mutant okay, I'll go. moving over okay Enders hits. Will do. Location confirmed. can almost move out which means if we're position ourselves kind of over here so that he could move up and try to slash us we do have anti-melee options Viper is too far away to do anything. Come on, move up and try to slash us. Incoming fire. On it. Location confirmed. Solid copy. What a mission. Not one that I would want to repeat. Yeah, we we were heavily under gunned and under equipped for this one. Killed three, uh, only three kills, which means we were also not getting the full kill experience, but at least we got the VIP out. That was a, that was a tough one. You can't just take rookies. It's not normal XCOM where you can take a couple of rookies and then it's going to be fine. Here the enemies just have too many hit points. 
growth in the field have certainly encouraged the crew. Good, we're doing Zapper. Although, once we get Sting Grenades, if we get him to take Sarge, and I also like Rapid Deployment into Sting Grenades, so you could do a lot with that. Heavy Ordnance, on the other hand, is good as well. Hmm. We could do that and that. Hmm. I'm just thinking. If we want to make him a gunner, he does have cyclic fire, right? Which in itself uh, means we could do rapid deployment, center mass, blue screen bombs uh, would help. And the warheads would also be good. And then sting grenades. You wouldn't go much further than that. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? I can I could see this this build work out well. Very good, heavy ordnance, and then for 10 points lone wolf is always worth it. Just need to stand a bit alone and um, it's already very, very good. Grenadier and Grenadier, really? That's your idea of bonding? Are we going to do a bit of a different build here? Overwatch focus build. I don't like Overwatches a lot. I think we're just going with a standard classical route. And the reason why I don't like Overwatch is because uh, it is no longer the classical normal long war where you had super low chances of hitting anything and the whole shtick um, of the long war fight was basically getting incrementally better at hitting by combining various mechanics such as um, holo targeting so marking enemies and, and removing individual cover and and just using a lot of suppression to prevent the enemies from flanking having really prolonged long firefights hunkering in and then just shooting 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 that was a long war but long war of uh, uh, Long War 2 and then Long War of a Chosen, very different playstyle. It's much more uh, an alpha strike based. Make sure that you kill the enemy before they can kill you. And yes, there are still a couple of uh, situations where you are overwatching. And I've used them in this campaign, but I, I think it's, it's more a... Um, it is one tool out of a whole set of tools and area uh, suppression is no longer the name of the game where you're basically running two gunners to uh, cycle through area suppression just to keep everybody area suppressed and then uh, put um, put poison grenades on top of it in flashbangs those days are gone Although you can still, I think it's still a legit um, playstyle, you just will have problems with timers um, if you are going through that. And you will also have problems with uh, larger enemies once sector pods and gatekeepers are rolling in. Uh, they snicker mildly about your uh, little overwatch trap. Um, you better have an, I uh, an idea how to get through them. Good. In terms of 
other missions uh, we got the smash and grab from the iron hands here uh, that's a fine squad a good one uh, newly assembled so might as well grab some resource uh, cages and uh, caches and get out of there let's go just realized that we're already at the end of uh, the episode i should have moderated that a little bit better guys we're going to do operation star breaker the next time that we play thanks for watching as always and have a great evening take care bye bye